Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. Why on earth are millennials drinking collagen? That's an easy one, because celebrities are doing it, duh. The latest fad in fighting wrinkles and aging at the ripe age of 22 comes in the form of drinkable and edible collagen. So if you've had enough of moisturizing your face with overpriced creams from Walgreens, you can resort to a different avenue. But if you're picturing that collagen goes directly to your bones and skin to fortify them, you're not alone. And you're also wrong. Collagen is a protein, and like any other protein, it simply cannot travel from your gut to your skin. There's no conduit. Collagen contains amino acids. When the enzymes in your stomach break down, collagen-rich foods, like steak for example, produce a large amount of amino acids called proline and hydroproline. If, for example, someone is proline deficient, which is unheard of, collagen could be beneficial, maybe but probably not. Basically, in other words, it's a fruitless exercise. Okay, but you say, isn't it true that collagen can repair damaged DNA in skin? Scientists say maybe. It's possible that if your skin was damaged or cut, a topical collagen could fill in the gaps. Maybe, at least you'll be well moisturized. So why drink or eat collagen? There's virtually no evidence to suggest that collagen can aid in gut health much less fight aging or wrinkles. Why fight them? We're all going to age anyway. Yes, even this millennial face. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there to your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For The Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.